<laughs> Holy shit, he almost had it. Man, that was a bad one. <laughs> Yeah, definitely one of the one of the neatest experiences right there. All right, we've done that part. So now that we made it here. The answer, the question is, is is there a portage to the left? Because if there's a portage to the left, we're in the right spot. But if there's no portage to the left, we got to go back. Which would be horrible, man. Are you sure? Well, then there should be a portage up here then. And then, if that's the case, at the end of this, there's going to be another 200 meter portage over the dam. It's raining now. After all that, we have rain. Perfect. So that was right. The portage is right here to, our, to my left here. So we're in the right spot. So straight ahead, there's gonna be another 200 meter portage, which is over the dam. So if you're gonna do this uh, this path, you don't have to do that 435 meter portage. You have to go into that lake where we just were and then go walk through the upstream there. And that's gonna avoid that 435 meter portage. What's that? Plus you're gonna see those fish. Yeah. Awesome. Now it's raining though, man. That's not good. Being cold the way we are and it's gonna drop down to zero degrees tonight. We have to make it a goal to find camp soon, dude. Well let's just go let's let's, let's start tracking some trays and we'll get into the burnt lake and find camp and then we'll stay there. Yeah, I think we have to do that. So we don't want to get wet because that could be really devastating. Dangerous. Yeah. To stay wet, it's not going to be good too, especially when night falls. Alright, just get into the end. The dam, I can see the portage right in front of me. <clears throat> but it's raining pretty hard now. So I gotta put my rain jacket on. And uh, I'm gonna put my waterproof case on my GoPro. So <clears throat> the audible won't be that good. Yeah, rain jacket must go on. Don't wanna get wet, cause it's, it's not hot out. It's pretty chilly. It'd be dangerous tonight if we uh, if we stay wet, so play it safe. After this dam, I think we're gonna find the first site that we see that's decent and uh, <clears throat> make camp right away because if this rain does not stop and it gets heavier, uh, it could be fatal out here. As it is cold and it's gonna drop around zero degrees, so we, we don't wanna be uh, any risks. Definitely we don't want any risks. <clears throat> All right, so we walked the portage and uh, me and Joey are going to try to go around this way because it looks like that we can paddle all the way up and then maybe we only have about a 75 meter portage after that. But uh, Jacques and Will decide to walk it all the way through. But, uh, we're going to take the river and see if we can uh, cut this portage off completely. Well, not completely, but just leave the quarter we left. We'll find out in a minute.
Site here on the left side. Looks like the second site on the left in the little bay. Almost at the end of the bay. Tough call, boys. Unless there's some flat ground up there. Go check that campsite out. It's not good. There's a level spot up top, but that flare pit, it sits about three feet high with rocks all built around it. So being as cold as it is now and how cold it's going to be tonight, it's not a good idea because we're not going to be able to huddle around the fire and uh, stay warm all night long if we need to. Because they're just too high up. There's going to be no heat from your like lower body up and we're going to stand be able to be anywhere close to the fire so definitely not good if it was a nice hot summer day it's a different story it wouldn't be bad but because it's cold it's rainy we're all wet we're already really cold and uh, from now on until the sun drops it's gonna be really cold and it's gonna get colder and uh, it's gonna be around zero degrees tonight so we need to be somewhere where we can get a nice fire also, I didn't notice there was a lot of fire around, firewood, so it looks like all the wood in the area has been scavenged over time with it being a popular site, or maybe because of the first one on Burnt Island, people come this far, they get tired, and that's kind of the go-to site, or on their way back, it's the last site coming out of Burnt Island, so maybe that's why well, there's not too much wood, so we're going to carry on and see what else is out there. Alright, we found a site. I don't like the fire pit here. I don't like how it's built up high because it's going to hard, hard to radiate heat on all of us. But we're almost at a point where we got to make do. Can't just keep searching for sites. 
Lots of open space. Good. If it was hot out, it'd be a great sight. So our first priority, what we have to do is we got to get firewood, and we have to uh, definitely get warm. Total paddle time, boys: three hours, twenty-seven minutes. Total: fifteen point one nine kilometers. Yeah, and the rain is coming down harder. <laughs> Teamwork. It pays. We're chopping some wood right now. Tom, while the gatherers are out getting wood, Tom is a fire maker. Look at this, baby. We gotta get warmed up. We have to dry. We have to make dinner. Tom, good job, man. And uh, look at all this. We're all scavengers right now. Teamwork is what it's all about when you're out here. We can't stop. We gotta make sure that everyone stays warm now and dries up, and we have to make dinner. Without that, there is no food. So. Right now we are hunters, gatherers, and providers. That's right. Survival right here. Good job, Jacques. Everyone's doing their part. This is it. We are rocking this thing. Good job, man. I can feel the heat already. Oh, it feels so good. This is awesome. Good job, Joey. We need a nice cold beer and sit around the fire for a few minutes after this. Yeah. Yeah, it's horrible, eh? Got a nice little gas right there, too. But yeah. Oh, well, we're all prepping. Got the fire going first thing. Stay warm, cook food. Shish kebabs. This is the only meat that we have for uh, for the trip. We brought it just just for the first night. So good thing that we got this fire going. We're really hungry. We did a lot of kilometers today, and uh, this is the reward right here. Plus, a nice cold.